Prince of a Tip back here, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Now, when we last left off, we defeated the beasts, these mud beasts, or whatever the fuck they're called, and something happened here. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. And uh, we defeated the beasts and the mud imps, the, the red, blue, and uh, mud imp beasts, and we need to go to the Mountain of Woe. Alright, sorry about that. Now, it does seem like I do need a little bit of work, though, and don't mind my computer was being a little weird there. But yeah, I do need to do a little bit of grinding and uh, just kind of catch up a little bit. And uh, that little rock that you saw over there, they're called Rubbles. And they will run away because one thing that they'll do, they'll Omni-Lock everything where you can only hit using your uh, physical attacks. And a lot of it's usually based on accuracy and speed too, so yeah. You gotta be really, really fast or they'll run away. And then, boom, the spoils go running away too. And the Mountain of Woe continues. This place is a huge maze. Oh, and here, speaking of the rubble, on the SNES playthrough that I did, these, I think I got, let's see, I think I only let, I think only one of them escaped though. And so far only one has escaped as well. I want to see just how much I can actually get this time out because these guys are a pain in the ass to get and boom, there you go. So the victor, get the spoils, a thousand XP, a thousand tech points, a midi through two, a midi through two. And this is also a perfect opportunity to start, you know, getting people's uh, techs in as well. Yeah. And I have uh, been needing to uh, update other equipment too. Yeah, let's see how well they are. I haven't used Isla since we came back to antiquity as well. And what's cool about Isla? She levels up. Her uh, weapon actually levels up. Her fist actually does. It's a fist, and it's a rock fist, and it becomes a bronze fist. I believe that's what it is. Shelter in place. There we go. Might as well save. Oh, what's going on? Alright, sorry about that. My computer, uh, the Chrono Trigger crashed there for a second. Hang on. Never hurts to save, though. Let's be safe. Yeah, that was really strange. Don't know why my computer decided to sit there and. Well, Chrono Trigger crashed, not my computer, so just to be transparent about that. Alright, here we go. What do you got? Good amount of dual attacks as well. It's not very often where I don't uh, work on everybody's uh, skills as well. It's not very often where I don't, you know, skip on everybody. But, Mount of War, though, does, you know, have its, uh, both its positive and its negatives, too. Frenzy and ooh, fire sword too. There we go. Okay, put it back real quick. Oh yeah, and there's something else I'm also uh, neglected with these two. Hang on. Ooh, four gargoyles. Hang on. Frenzy. That actually uh, confuses everybody. One of the original verse is actually called confuse. Not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. Hang on. Somebody else needs to check with those two. Okay. Still needs a little bit of work. Come on, ladies, what do you got? Yeah, the one thing I do love about the Mountain of Woe is just how unpredictable they are, and that was my phone. Sorry about that. It's how unpredictable everything is, though, because you just never know what kind of, what kind of battles will happen. Now this is pretty obvious because it's a very, very big, big area too. And there's a treasure chest there. Alright, what do you got? Not too bad, not too bad. 
Good stuff. Get these guys out of the way. Oh, and by the way, throughout uh, throughout this uh, this playthrough as well, I think what I'm gonna try to do is try not to edit out too many fights though, because you know everything that I do in, on this game though is all based around action. So I'm gonna do the best I can to try not to edit out as many battles. Perfect. There we go. More imps. And more gargoyles. This will be nothing. Oh yeah. Easy. Good stuffs. Let's see. 29, 31. Yeah. You know what? What I do need to bring in as well? T260 needs to uh, be in the party. I definitely need to upgrade uh, all this uh, status too, not to mention his equipment. Though, I don't believe I'm going to use him, you know, for uh, Giga Gaia though. Whatever Russell, uh, Rescue Melchior. I don't think I'm going to do that to Rescue Mel uh, Melchior though, because I'm just going to use my usual three. Take these guys out. But man, he still hits hard too. Make sure T260 gets several performance upgrades whenever I get to it. He'll be my Genos from uh, One Punch Man. How about that? <laughs> T260 will be my G uh, Genos from uh, One Punch Man. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that Chrono is like the, the one guy from Dark Souls who uh, brings his uh, new friend in, kills everybody, so they can sit there and collect all the experience points and the, and the spoils. Oh, what's going on here? Hmm. A little bit of lag there, that's weird. Oh, here we go, another rubble. Omni lock. On the SNES, they just call it lock. Okay, what do you got? What do you Oh, yes! Yes! So the Victor Gold to spoil us. Heal beam? Indeed. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Getting a little closer. Oh, and those little plant dudes. Inventory. That'll be good for right now. Pretty good. Yeah, we can. No, we can't skip this. Yeah. What was that called? Isama? Miasma. Miasma. Oh, it's the band aid. <laughs> Don't mind me. Why the price has a has a band aid on? No, no, that's the. It's, I took the band aid. Oh, the splinter. Oh no. The, uh, oh no. Ah. Oh no. Took the bandit off, and all that sticky residue was left behind. Ah, uh, the from the tape. There we go. Oh yeah, mega bomb! Hell yeah! Oh yeah! What do we got? <laughs> Mr. Saint will take care of him. <laughs> oh yeah, fire sword too. God damn, I love that move. Cool. Combo attack. Oh yeah, then there's this. That's pretty badass though. If you can sit there and hit somebody until they go all the way down to 1 HP. But, that goes to show you. That goes to ask you this. How bad is your stamina if you can just keep knocking them down and then right when they get to 1 HP, you just, ugh, I'm tired. Bear Sphere. Alrighty. And another rubble. Let's see. Let's bring a Marley and Nadia in. I think we'll be okay. I'll take a chance. Ugh. 
You know what to say though, anything that's anything you know worth a lot though is not is not gonna be easy. Anything worth getting is never gonna be easy. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, Nadia. Come on. Don't blow it. There we go. Don't blow it. Good stuff. Good stuffs. Alrighty. Nothing here. Might as well take care of these guys. Yasmo. Like that name. There we go. God, you gotta wonder what those things are made out of. That wasn't too bad at all either. A shelter. Shelter in place. And a shield sphere. Alright. Even better. Alright. And we got a couple more. Take care of these guys. Easy stuff too. Yeah, sometimes you gotta grind there! Yeah, <laughs> to be the world champ! I saw two dual tech. Oh, here we go. Okay, now it's time to get real. Time to get real. Okay, shelter in place. Okay, we're almost at the, uh... We're at the peak of the mountain of, of uh, Mount Low. Getting close. Getting close. Oh, yeah. You notice it kind of got a little darker there. Ooh, a time hat. Give it to Nadia. Add a moment. What else is here? Hold on, hold on. No, wait, flip the other side. Let us keep moving forward. And a high ether. Okay, there we go. Alright. And there's Melchior's seal. And Giga Gaia is right ahead. So this is the prison that holds the Guru of Life. It's disappearing. It's definitely a trap. Somebody didn't want him to be found. Brother, here we go. Draw thy sword. Double hand blaster. Okay. Definitely need to start working on the hands first. Yeah, it's twice. Here we go. Okay, let's see. I'll extract one arm. Alright, let's see. High potion. Keep Naughty up. Alright, here's what we'll do. Definitely need a haste. Speed up everybody, too, so. Well, we need to stay healthy. You know what? Frenzy will come in handy for one of these arms. Definitely need to work on his magic too though because... A little over a thousand damage right there. Okay, one arm's down. Arm attack halves your HP. Next strike. Oh yeah, there's that. Okay, haste. And then needs to stay healthy too. Alright, this is gonna be a very meticulous fight though, so don't mind a little bit of the silence. Q. 
Anakin, commencing arm restoration. No, we can't have that happening. I sword two it is. Alright, everybody needs to be in tip top shape. Lightning rod it is. Ah! What, couldn't do it in time. Yeah, this is gonna be a nasty counterattack, too. My sword, too. I believe the, uh, the right arm, or our left, is the weaker out of the two, if I remember correctly. There we go. One or two. Let's see how well we do from here. Water surge. Oh, that's not bad at all. Now, make you a lightning round as well. Give you a little charge. Ice sword two. And water two. Make sure we're attacking everybody here. A little bit of a rough start there, so you know what? Then again, nothing's perfect. Restores the head. Yeah, well, you know what? Two can play at that game. Okay, I definitely need more mana. Out of mana! She needs to be hastened, too. Everybody's got to be fast. What do you got, Giga Guy? What are you going to do? Do your worst. Monster, do your worst. Okay, you know what? Maybe good for everybody. Story of magic. You know what? She'll be okay with just one. Not because she's a woman. But you know what? She's got plenty to go with. Much more than I do. Shit. Stay healthy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I love the look at his face. Like, he's so surprised. Like, you know what? What, what, what did you expect was going to happen? I took out your arm, dude. Probably my favorite ice tag of all time right here. Just. Oh yeah. Both arms are down. You are vulnerable. Better kick in somebody's ass with no arm, too. Commencing arm restoration. Alrighty. Oh yeah, he's done. He's done. And just like that, Giga Guy is finished. Done. 3,000 XP, 3 uh, tech points, 3,000 G as well. Ooh, glacial freeze as well. Ooh, Frost Arc, aka Arc Impulse. My favorite triple tech as well. There he is, Milkior. Uh, uh, old man Milkior. Indeed, I'm none other, but how do you know my name? I do not believe we've met. More presently, what of the Queen and the Ocean Palace? Do you know what has happened? I see. The Queen's mind has already eroded to that extent. It seems that the more energy the Man Machines absorb, the further the Queen descends into madness. The immortal Lavos has overtaken her soul from within its slumber beneath the waves. Yeah, the Mountain of Woe is about to crash. And I probably should have uh, spent more money buying everything there, too. But I'll have an opportunity to do so a little bit later on. The, the, the Mountain of Woe... Uh-oh. Lama, the, mount the mountain's falling! 
Broke the seal. Now, imagine a mountain landing into the water. What do you think happens then? Gotta make a big splash. Lava sleeps deep in the underground, consuming the energy of this planet. Not so near, the man machine could very well awaken him. We must hurry before it's too late. Elder, Lady Scott, Lady Shala's here. What? Shala? How much you look at that? And young Jess. Lady Shala, what have you done to come to such a miserable place? Do not degrade yourselves. We enlightened ones were once the same as you. The only difference is we are now puppets of Lavos. Such a filthy... Oh, come on. Come on, Janice. They'll kill her. The mountain fell. I knew I would find you here. But is it safe for you to leave the palace? Whether it is safe or not no longer matters. The ocean palace is complete. Then all is lost. Not all. Without me, the man machine is no more than a vessel. I will not activate that evil thing again. I've kept the skyway open. Please, you must stop my lady mother. Tisk, 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 my dear. Would you look at that? It's fucking Dalton. Dalton! It would be quite an inconvenience if you fail to activate the machine. Dalton, leave her alone. <laughs> ah, the fossil speaks. Be silent. In other words, <sighs> shut the hell up. You'll come to the Ocean Palace with me. Cause any trouble and your life is, well, I will bear no responsibilities. Shala! <laughs> you sit there and slap a kid? None of the Queen's brats know their place, do they? Oh, let's not be hasty. I'd be more than happy to take the life of this little pearl. I do not fear the Queen. Shall we be on our way, Shala, dear? Your mother is waiting. I like that he just solar flared out of here. Melchior. I am alright. But we must rescue Shana or there will be ter terrible consequences. There is no hope of rescuing her. Not even for you, Melchior. If the Queen's plans come to fruition, there is no hope for life as we know it. Mm. You would go and stop with the Queen? My pardons. You risk your life for us time and time again, and I don't even know your names. Think not of it. We have a debt to repay for your repair of the Massimo. What? Whatever you're talking about. Yeah, let's get going. Wait, take this with you. It's made of the same redstone as the Mammoth Machine. With it, you should be able to destroy the thing for good. Ruby knife. And in the next episode, we head straight to my favorite part of the game, the Ocean Palace. Much love, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye!